Today we're going to make some Vietnamese style oxtail beef noodle soup. Beef noodle is one of my favorite foods. I've actually made this dish over a hundred times and in the beginning I didn't really know what to do and I've refined it over the years. Here's some oxtail, I bought this from Costco. Generally when I buy the oxtail I try to get it so that the pieces are all uniform shape but then the cow tail it seems like they have the tail really large at the base and then it becomes really narrow really quickly so most of the time it looks like that but I try to buy the ones where the, the tail is roughly medium size all the way along the length so you can see here uh, they chop it into sections and this is a really big piece really big piece medium medium piece and a small piece I would like to prefer have, having all of uh, this size. Start by blanching the oxtail. Cook it for about a minute. Okay, that's pretty good. Now just remove them. Okay, now put the blanched oxtail into a new pot of boiling water. See, I have quite a bit of water here, so it's because we need to boil this for about an hour and a half. Hour and a half is uh, what it takes the oxtail to soften. So right when you put in the oxtail, you gotta squirt in a whole bunch of fish sauce. Okay, so once it's in there, you should prepare the other things pretty quickly and put them in. You want to put in the lemongrass and an onion. You always want to scoop the foam up whenever you see it. You need to do this constantly, every 5 minutes or so, for the next 90 minutes. It's quite intensive, you have to just stand here and just keep on scooping. The reason you want to do this is to make the soup very clear. Okay, so I'm going to prepare the onion and drop it into the soup. You can just stick the whole thing in there because it's going to cook for so long. All the flavor will come out anyway, even if you throw in the whole onion. That's exactly what I'll do. I'm just going to throw this whole thing in the soup. Okay, next we're gonna prepare the lemongrass. Cut all the dirty parts off, and then maybe trim the ends, and chop off the ends. And then for these, you just wanna cut it right in the middle, like that. And then slide your knife through the middle of it. And do that same for the other one. Separate all of them and then, uh, and then you bundle them up. And then bundle it. Use a piece of string from non-flavor, non-colored string. Tie it up. And then you toss this into the soup too. I dropped in the onion. So you see how on the top the there's foam collecting, so you wanna grab those and Kind of skim off all the foam and I'll put in the lemongrass thing bundle of flavor in here. If you like, you can drop in chili powder. It gives a little bit of coloring to the soup. I used to put oil in there, but uh, it's not as healthy. Neither is so much salt. This, this dish is a bit salty. So we have the soup boiling and that's the main item that you need to get going. And after you have all that in, which is pretty quick, right? Not that many ingredients. So now I have some limes and some green onion. We need to do this prep work while the soup is cooking. You should have the soup on a pretty fast boil like this. Go and wash your green onion. Okay, it's washed. Just cut off all the ends. You can use these ends and like go plant them in the garden. A couple weeks later, you'll get some more green onion. What you do here is cut off the white parts. It seems like we have two sections of it. So let's cut off one section and two sections and we'll do those later. So you just grab the whole thing like this, line them up and just go to town. So for these kind of onions, they're a bit spicy, so um, it's not quite good to eat these in the soup because they, they taste too oniony, right? So we're gonna cut them into little shreds and then wash them. What I do is cut them in half like this and then cut them into shreds. Got one done right there. There's another. 
just put the green onion in there. Just rinse it a bit. You're washing off the really sharp flavor of the green onion at the base. The, the tips don't taste so sharp, so they're okay. So I just washed the outside of the lime just to be clean. So for the lime, you normally think, okay, I should just cut it down the middle and maybe cut eight pieces out of it, right? But the best way to do it is to cut a slice out of the edge. Then you can get the most juice out of this side. And then you do the same for the other edges. Stick all these on there and then you squeeze the lime onto your soup. So it's about 20 minutes in and you can see the soup is starting to take some color. Do a little taste test. Mmm, delicious. So the thing is, uh, if you're cooking only oxtail in here like I am, you won't get that much foam. If you put any kind of bones, any kind of uh, beef bones or like pieces of meat, you'll actually get more foam. Green onion base here, I'm just here setting it to drain out all the water. When you go to store this, if you didn't finish all of it, then you gotta make sure the water, there's no water sitting here, some puddle, um, that it's dry and your veggies will last a lot longer if it's not sitting in a little pool of water. So this is set to kind of a low boil. This will allow all the foam to settle on the top. You see here, I have a lot collected. You should not let it sit so that so much is collected. You should like constantly go and grab all the foam whenever it comes up. Let's just skim off the top. So the soup has been boiling about 35 minutes. You can start doing your rice noodles now. So I have the rice stick noodle here and you can see little sticks of rice. What you want to do is boil some water about five, six times the volume of this in a big pot. Make sure you have enough water because if you don't, you'll you'll turn the water kind of thick and then you if you don't watch it, it'll get kind of sticky and then stick to the bottom of the pot. The consistency you want these rice stick is that the middle should be quite firm and then the outside should be soft. Boil some water like this, you just pop it in. You can see how the liquid is kind of thick right now. If you don't, you just gotta either put in a lot of liquid so that it doesn't get thick or just keep on stirring it and it'll just be fine. It's been in there about eight minutes. Towards when it's done, you wanna check it every 10 seconds to make sure that it's a tiny bit uncooked and not all the way through. And just drain it out and cool it down so it stops the cooking. So the soup is ready, we can kind of plate a bowl now. If you cook your noodles for a while and it settles, it's going to turn into one big clump so you can just rinse it with water and loosen it back up again. Grab some of this, like a serving, as much noodles as you want. Green onion, some of this green onion. It's been in there for about 90 minutes now. So all the oxtail should be done. I recommend to take out all the oxtail because you want them to stop cooking. You don't need to rinse them. Just take them out because if you leave them in the soup, in the warm soup, it'll turn the oxtail a little reddish in the inside and I don't like that. At this point, you can also take out the lemongrass and toss it in the trash. You can eat the onion if you want to. So basically the soup is done. You should leave it boiling when you want to add it into your noodles. A piece or two of oxtail in your noodle. So after you do that, you can just put in the boiling soup. You don't want too much soup because you don't want it to swim in a big pool of soup. Just enough, about that much. And then squeeze in some lime. And that's it. You're done. That's it, no sugar or anything. So basically this is oxtail soup with rice noodle and some onion and some lime on it with lemongrass. So let's try a little bit. Mm. It's a very clear, clean taste. If it's not salty enough, you can add in more fish sauce. If you never had oxtail before, I'd say it's a bit unique. It doesn't taste like a steak, beef or anything. It's a bit more fatty. So delicious. You know, this is a pretty big pot and if you cannot finish it, I would store the oxtail not in the soup separately. And when you do want to reheat it the next day, you just get the soup and put the oxtail in the soup and boil it so that it heats up the oxtail. For the rice noodle, you should make it fresh every time because if you make a lot of rice noodle and then just stick it in the fridge and get it the next day, it 
it tends to absorb with water and gets a bit bouncy. The texture is not the same. You might like it that way, but I generally make it fresh every time. How do you eat the oxtail? It's like a bone right in the center and you just eat all the meat around it, including the cartilage. 90 minutes is about right. Once you cook it too long, the meat starts falling off and I kind of like it how it's soft enough where you can eat everything off the bone, but not so much so that everything falls off. Try my recipe and, and let me know how it tastes. Don't forget to click like if you like this video and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.